How many of y'all remember the Reverend Moon? He was from Korea. He caused a stare in America back in the 70s, 80s, somewhere in that time. And he was an oddball preacher. He would bring hundreds of young people together and just marry them. Say, you marry this one, you marry them. <laughs> they didn't even know each other. He'd marry them, you know. He called it, uh, it was a new type of religion. Unitarian type of a... Yeah. Uh, unification, I believe he called it. So and this he was is friends, Reverend Moon. He was friends with a lot of the churches. There were some people that really opposed him, though. All right, now, to get this to get this through your thick skulls, I want you to, to listen closely. I'll hold this while Pumpkin reads something about the Reverend Moon. So pay close attention. This is a most important message you'll ever hear in your whole life. Because when you stand before God and you tell him you kept his word, you're going to go to hell. In 1982, Moon was convicted in the United States of filing false federal income tax returns and conspiracy. His conviction was upheld on appeal in a split decision. Moon was given an 18-month sentence and a $15,000 fine. He served 13 months of the sentence at the Federal Correctional Institution, Danbury, before being released on good behavior to a halfway house. The case was the center of national freedom of religion and free speech debates. Professor Lawrence H. Tribe of the Harvard University Law School argued that the trial by jury had doomed Moon to conviction based on religious prejudice. The American Baptist Churches in the USA and the National Council of Churches the National Black Catholic Clergy Caucus and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference filed briefs in support of Moon. Many notable clergy, including Jerry Falwell and Joseph Lowry, signed petitions protesting the government's case and spoke out in defense of Moon. Now listen to what I'm going to tell you. Jerry Falwell said that for people like me and for Moon. Jerry Falwell said, I do not agree like he don't agree with Harlan. I don't agree with Moon and his words. But you know what he said? <laughs> he said, I will defend until the death for their right to say it. <laughs> so if you can say the Bible is the word of God, I can say the Bible is the word of Satan. That's right. If you can say there's a Santa Claus, I could say there's not a Santa Claus. That's right. Because in the Constitution, Jerry Falwell was saying, we give you freedom of religion and freedom to speak. And he said that Congress will enact no law to stop this. And Jesus said, my voice will be heard again. They've run me from Canada to Brazil. They kicked me out of all the churches. And Jerry Falwell's son runs that church up there on uh, Thomas Road in Lynchburg, Virginia, Liberty Bible College. And it's one of the largest in the world. The presidents go up there and speak at it. They won't let me speak in it, but they will not stop me. They will not try to stop me because they say you have freedom to speak. And so I tell it everywhere I go. And you I know go, what? That's a miracle because 99.9% yes. .9 of all the people in all religions have always tried to stop this and tell us, go on down the road, shut up, you can't say that. We've been kicked off of radio programs. We couldn't get our book out. We couldn't even give it away. They've shut our tents down. They say, you can't have your tent here. Move that tent. And they would tell us, get out of here. You're not allowed to speak that. We, the only door we have open is on YouTube. So Jesus' voice is being heard again in the land. And this is the true word of God. Now we want to give you some ingredients. The Bible is the word of Satan because Constantine compiled it, mm -hmm. King James authorized it. And now listen real close. When Jesus speaks a word, yes. he speaks to the wind. He said, peace be still. Mm -hmm. What happened to the wind? The wind stopped. That, stopped. that is the word of God. Now you take a Bible and run outside and tell the wind to stop. It Will won't it stop? stop, no. Because that ain't spirit and it's not life. That's not okay, true. but when you take Constantine and King James, 
wrote all them words of Jesus is down in a book, mm -hmm. give it to the apostles of Satan like Kenneth Copeland and Hamburger Hagen and all of them, then whose word does it become? It becomes the word of the devil. It becomes the word of Satan. Mm -hmm. When Satan takes the Bible, it's the word of Satan. He That's twists right. that. It's written down. And he quoted Jesus scripture. He said, it's written. Cast your, He's trying to kill Jesus. Cast yourself down from the pinnacle. And Jesus wouldn't obey it. That's he right. wouldn't obey the scripture. Because that, that wasn't Satan. God's word. No. That was the devil telling him what to do. So that was the devil's word. So the Bible is? The word of the devil. The word of the devil. Mm -hmm. And that's when they're holding it today. Thousands of his apostles is holding. They preach from the Bible. Now you must hear what the Spirit says. That's right. Satan could not do anything with the Holy Spirit filled Christians that were being led and spoken to by the living Jesus Christ, full of the Holy Ghost. He was killing them. He was feeding them to the lions. He was burning them. And so what did, he couldn't beat them, so he had to join them and become them. That, and the only way he could do it was to compile the Bible and say it was the Word of God and then use it as his authority from God. And then he killed all the real Holy Ghost Christians claiming they were of the devil. And he, now he has the Word of God, which is a lie. If you never hear another word of truth in your whole life, believe this. When you go before God and you say, Father, I kept your word. Mm -hmm. It's off to the bottomless pit for you. His son did not give his life so you could have a book. The printing press, you, they didn't even have uh, people in Bibles until the printing press because the old people in Jesus' day, only 5% of them could read. That's right. They had the Holy Ghost. That's right. They preached the gospel with the Holy Ghost. Now, some of them apostles and Old saints, they would write letters to specific churches and read it to them. But they were people that filled with the Holy Spirit, and those people knew to go by the Holy Spirit. They didn't have a Bible compiled. They didn't go by a Bible. They wiped out Jesus' people. They hung the Quakers because the Quakers said, It's a light in you. Mm -hmm. And they put them in prison. When, John, when uh, George Fox bowed down to King James II, they let 1,500 Quakers out of jail that day. That's right. They gave it up. Because... Because when the Bible is the Word of God, then Satan has the Word of God, and then Jesus can't speak. And all the 41,000 different Bible denominations are all full of sin and evil and wickedness and confusion. Therefore, it is not the Word of God. And Jesus said, pick it back up, Harlan. Become like the Quakers supposed to be. And they had 50 to 100,000 people. That was the last Holy Ghost church. Mm -hmm. He said, pick it back up and tell them. The Bible is the word of the devil. That's right. And when you're down there getting saved by the devil, giving him 10% of your money, you'll regret that forever in the bottomless pit. Because the Bible is not the word of God. It has no power. When Jesus spoke to Paul on the road to Damascus, he said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul fell off his beast and the light blinded him. That was a real word. <laughs> From the living God. You can claim them all you want, but they won't help you. You can claim I can do all things through Christ will strengthen me. That won't help you. Not until Jesus tells you you can do all things. He told me, he said, Harlan, I'm going to deliver you like I delivered Israel. He's delivered me. I'm 80 years old now. And I'm telling this truth. And when I stand before God, and that's Jerry Falwell's there with his Baptist doctrine, and he, God said, What do you think about him, Hillbilly? I said, he said one thing, I like Father, and I want to tell you this on his behalf. He said, I do not agree with Harlan and his words, but I will defend until my death his right to say it. So I got a right to say this, not only from the Constitution, but I got a right to say it from Jesus, who's the King of Kings. You can go around saying, the Bible is the word of God. I can go around saying the Bible is the word of the devil because the devil's using it. When the devil's using the Bible, which you've got thousands of, of his apostles being him and all them out there using the Bible, that's the word of the devil. So I have freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of speech given to me by God, given to me by this country and the Constitution. They've been persecuted, and they give us freedom to say the Bible is the word of the devil. And I'm going to keep saying it until some of you start getting it because when you stand before God with a book in your hand telling him I kept your word, he's off to the bottom of the spit for you. Jesus said, I did not send you a book. 
I sent you the Holy Ghost. We live by every word that comes from God. You must hear what the Spirit says to the church. Get this message. This is very important. And we fought a long time, me and the Reverend Moon, <laughs> to get to say anything. We couldn't say anything. They run us out of the churches. They run me off TV. They run me off radio. They run me out of every town. I've, been, I've moved 50 or 60 times, but I'm still here. And I'm still telling you because of Jesus Christ and his voice is being heard again. The Bible is the word of the devil. 